I am here vibing with one of dancehall music's real foot soldiers. His parents named him Simeon Richards, but we know him as... I saw my tooth. I Royal King. I Royal King. Blessed love, teach them. Everything good, sir? Teach them, reach them, the youths them. We My shall help them. Yes, I. Yes, thanks, man. Blessed. Yes, I. Bless. So DJ, how are things, sir? Things not that hundred percent, but we still give thanks for life. Cause we day us up and teach them, to reach them. Mad, you have faced your own shares of trials and tribulations in the music. True. And also on a personal level. Yes, sir. In twenty twenty one November. Yes. You suffered a stroke. Yes. Talk to us about that. Well, it happens. From I was really at um, my baby mother house and um, helping out situation, you know, with her and cash out some children for me. So after walking from the gate, go up to the house, I saw my daughter them run some peanut butter and jam. So I asked them for a sandwich and then I ate a sandwich and then I ate one more and then I moved to the fridge and drink a bigger grape soda. And from drinking the bigger grape soda, I find myself getting weak and falling down on the table and they, they shout out and rush me to the public hospital. And the doctor them said I'd get a minor stroke, minor you know? Minor stroke. Yeah. Well, no stroke, no good, but minor, better than being yeah. Yes, sir, for real. So was there any signs leading up to that that something was wrong? Uh, I right, to tell you really truth, no sign wasn't leading up to that. All me didn't know say I was putting on a lot of weight. My belly, my belly didn't get big. <laughs> and I was putting on some weight, you know. So that I would have said would be the only sign only because Sabatooth is a little slim maga man. And then to see me putting on this weight getting big, you know. Yeah. And like a lot of people saying that I'm getting fat, you know. <laughs> So the, to me, that was the only sign. Only sign and that then, something may have been... Yeah, and then I was also using a Hilti Jill Jack armor, helping our situation at my house because I was renovating my house, building up on the top and also over by my baby mother because my, my baby mother, she can do here very good. So when I saw she have the children, when she have the children them for me, I was reaching out to set up a foundation for her to, 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 to help her herself thing. to do her hair thing. So I was over there helping building the up the place. Can. Yes, even though that was not um, my profession, but we as Jamaican, they know us as jack of all trade. So I was trying to help our situation, yes. you know, using Hilti Jill Jack Hammer. So I was wondering if at a point, if it was that that jerk up my nerves, because Jill, the Hilti Jill Jack Hammer is a thing when you use it, it vibrates every part of you, you know? Yeah, but another question though, Mr. Richards, what was your, your mental state of mind, frame of mind at the time? Were you in a place where you were feeling stress or you know worrying about things or you know no um feeling stress it come with an intelligence no i was stressed but not stressed to the point in which i take it to my nerves or to my head to consider upon it to get a stroke i was stressed because i was putting out a lot of good works yeah, man, calm in down, man. Calm yeah, down yes teach them yeah, man. Because sometimes when you have yeah, the truth, it comes with that. I'm going to calm as much as possible. Yeah, man. I was stressed. I was putting out tremendous, excellent, good, good work. And them, 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 them start fall on deaf ears or blind eye to the people them inside the, the music industry who's supposed to give the public a taste of education and taste of good, 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 good talent and good music. Why I say that, I recently put out a song with Sanchez and Sanchez haven't released any song for over 20 odd years. And when I get the opportunity to do a collaboration with Sanchez and then I release the song, send it out to every disc jockey. When I say every disc jockey, not every of the whole hundred percent, but to the main disc jockeys them. And then when I saw that they haven't given the song no love. I, I put out an EP with Sizzla Kalanji now for you to get the opportunity to, to, to put out an EP with Sizzla Kalanji. That's a 
big, 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 big A plus. And then I see I'm not getting enough love for that either. Then I recently did the last big project work with Merciless. I released an EP with Merciless to the top. That is before Merciless passed away. And then I see that I haven't getting no love either. Then I am the first artist in the history of music, not only reggae or dancer, but history of music globally that have done a straight album with, with just peer collaboration on it. One person... Sean Paul did something similar recently. I want to tell you, Sean Paul did that after. So maybe it's my album that inspired Sean Paul to do that because when I put out this album, Sean Paul haven't... Did, yeah, um, man, I'm, not, I'm after. not saying yeah, it man, was before after. Sean Paul I'm saying, I'm yeah, man, yeah, man, Sean Paul did that. that after. So basically, bro, you're saying that you're doing the work and you're not get the... the, the the rotation and the yeah, radio. Yeah, the love. The and, love then, and, the and, then, and then now that will come to me as what you asked me before right. if I was stressing. That, that come to me as a thing that wasn't stressing with intelligence. But I was considering about that. Why I'm putting out so much good works and then I'm not getting the love. So I start to, to, to think about it a whole lot. Seeing then, then, then now I start to change a lot of things that I'm doing. That that, 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 that that I would say, maybe, maybe it's them thing that would cause it. I start to look within myself more and, and, and I start to go higher and deeper within my talent. I try, I try to reach out to some of the best musicians and I try to seek help from like some younger artists like a youth named Eclipse that is in Nannyville and some other youths in Wish. Make can make, 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 make advance on my talent lyrically because after you're doing music and you see you're not getting enough love, you, you have to change up whatever you're doing. So I start to have more love in my heart and in myself for people. I start to care and share more and I start to have respect and manners more because I say, I don't know what would cause this. Then I have to say, God bless Rastafari, bless Muta Baroka, GT Taylor, Big A and Gary G, them and Talia Powers them because they was the only really these jackies them who was showing Sabbath with love within that time, you know? Mm -hmm. So that would be the only thing that I would say who caused me to stress a little yeah, bit to come with the intelligence. Yes. So November 2021, your life basically changed, bro. Yes. Physically speaking. It really changed physically speaking. Yeah, what were the, the, the effects of, of, of the minor stroke physically though? And what have been those effects? Well the, the effects of the minor stroke was that it 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 it, it stabilized my mobilization to, to a sense of Sabatooth was not like this because many events keep I would be showing up there because Sabatooth was the artist them that don't always looking for it even though I don't book for it. So like boombox, I would truly be on boombox Friday and I will truly would be on a lot of events that took place that I wasn't on and then Sabatooth was like missing in action but still relevant to Muta Baroka mm -hmm. playing my music and talking of my illness and things like that, you know? How long were you in the hospital for? Well, I was in the hospital for, for I think I got on the same day and I think I get discharged the same day. Oh yeah? Yeah, RR is one day out they stay in the hospital. One out of two, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, man, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So your ability to walk has been ended? Yes. So you're not walking with a cane? Yeah, because I was in a wheelchair, couldn't stand up, couldn't walk at all and through prayer that, that, that I prayed and a lot of people pray for me, like a lot of church people, a lot of pastors pray for me, like literally put their hands on me and pray for me and a lot of my Rasta brethren them pray for me and through the help of the good Lord God Almighty, I am here giving thanks for life. You yes, I. And you are able to now move around. I'm able now to. Without the wheelchair. Yeah, I'm able now to move a, around without the wheelchair. And I have to, have to, have to reach out and say, give thanks. To, 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 to Mr. Swebe, he's, 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 he's an era councillor, he's now in parliament, Mr. Swebe and Julian Robinson, because they reached out to me and, and tried to and assist me yeah, with the wheelchair. Yeah. So I give thanks to uh, 
Julian Robinson and Mr. Swaby. Yes, I. How have things been financially trying to, you know, treat with the effects of, of the stroke? Well, well, what you said, that is, that is very, very important because Sabatot was an artist that don't, didn't get my real genuine slice of the cake in music industry. But who knows Sabato who is watching this right now, like producer and artist, them can tell you that Sabato is a fighter like I and Mike Tyson. Yes, he never give up. And even though the pressures, them try to put it down on him in fight. And the little that Sabato make from the days of Arrow Studio, King Jammins and the list goes on. I always remember that people always say it's not how much you make, it's what you save. So I always put down a little thing in my bank account. So when I get my illness with that minor stroke, I, I could go and get a little thing out of the bank account to balance myself. And, and I have also say I really get assistance and help from a lot of people also to, like my face, big up to Asha. Asha is he, 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 he's a, he, he, he's a v v video person. Okay. He work at TVJ and he, he work independent also. And I have uh, many other people that reach out to me and my families, you know. Mm. But, but most of all, is the little that I save, I could You're go and to, 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 yeah, to, yeah, to go at the bank and rally back on it. So I'm saying to all the artists them out there, always have something back in the kitty that on putting down, you know, because yeah, after a while, people will abandon to know, yeah, and you can reach out back to whatever on the save, you know. Yes, I bless your teacher. Mm -hmm. How have things been on a, you know, emotional, mental perspective since the stroke? You know, sometimes some people suffer stroke and them lock themselves away and mentally them, them, them yeah. depressed. And how, how, how have you been able to treat with the situation? At first, at first, I did have, I did have, I, I did have this thing like, I can't make people see me like this, like like in this situation, cannot work properly, and 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 I'm a mobilization kind of limited. I never want people to see me like that. But after talking to some good, 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 good hygienists and people, you know, they told me that the first thing that me have to do is first come to myself and know that nobody in this world want to be sick, sickness. Don't go for specific people. Anybody can be sick. So first and foremost, they say, I must not be ashamed of my illness. They say, when I get over that and, 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 and start reach out back to people who know me, are, don't be ashamed or, or sudden of your situation. That's the first recovery within yourself. So I, I, I start acknowledge that and then now I start to walk on the street and things like that, you know, don't care if anybody want to see me, even though a lot of people that love me see me as, oh my God, Sawa, what's that happened to you? A strong healthy youth like you, always see a run, run, and a regular, and I drink up your bitters and things, and you always eat healthy, because anybody can tell you that Saba tooth eat very healthy. Yes, me have, a, me have a good friend, he used to record at Arrow Studio, his name is Lita. Lita Ali says, Saba boy, I tell you, if you ever get a big number one song, boy, you know, you really make use of it. Because how me see you eat and how me see your attire carry yourself and you don't really get the big boss as you're supposed to get in the music. But the little one me see you get, how me see you eat, boom, I literally admire that. So I have a big up Lita, you know? Yes, for that. So you have slowly been making progress mentally, physically. Yes, since, since that unfortunate. Yes, I give situation. thanks. I'm slowly making recovery of that. You're even. driving again and stuff as well. Yes, I'm actually j driving. You know, I drive. I drive when I can, but when I, I can. don't. I don't do it regular. Mm -hmm. See, me do it. Me do it. Me do it when when really necessary. Right, and right, right. A lot of people even impressed by that too because them say, "Boy, Saba, you really are drive." That is a big sign of recovery because you just get a stroke and thing like that. So f to show that you can drive, read the signs them and obey the road traffic um, signs them and thing like that. That's a good improvement, you know. Mm, yes. Your speech was was affected slightly as well. No, my speech was wasn't not affected, affected. Mm. because. I was doing music same way at the studio, recording dub plates and things like that. Okay. Scene. So I know that 
but you know getting a stroke you, it come with many 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 challenging challenges and mm -hmm. the challenges it come with it, it can affect your speech sometimes when time you attack sometimes you will stutter it can give you shorter breath and it it, 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 it kind of cripple your mobilization because what you used to walk in good you can't walk that good so it it will bring down a depression on you but most of all you have to be strong within yourself so all the people out there who get a stroke or who don't get a stroke yet, if this to occur, you, that, you, you have to know that it's you within yourself have to be the main help for yourself. Yes, big up to all the doctors, them and the therapists, them, you know, but it's you mentally have to strengthen yourself to, to the road of recovery. Yes. Bro, um, you know, when, when, when I like them things here, but it's good to see that you know, mentally, you're very strong. Outlook, you're very positive, and yes, sir. yeah, try as best as possible to work within the constraints and make things keep going, brother, brother. Yes, teach them. Respect, God, Blessed. Yes, yeah? sir. Yeah, man. Talk to us, though. Early life, place of birth. Kingston Jubilee. Yeah, I, 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 I grow up out by E or out, out by Southside. Mm, uh, so. A place named yeah, out by Southside near Palace Theatre. Yes. Mm, how many brothers and sisters? Well, my mother, she was so beautiful and blessed. My mother entered Miss Jamaica at a point in her life and she came second. Oh, yeah? Second, my mother came. My mother was so beautiful that <laughs> every man who had a mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that and it come with ill intelligence. And the intelligence is that my mother, she have 13 children. 13, you know, that me just I show you the way my mother's so beautiful. If a man want to bring my mother. <laughs> yes, they have 13, yes, si 13. 12 siblings. So 13 involving, Inval including you. Including me, oh, so yeah. have 12 siblings. Yeah, 12 siblings. Uh, all your siblings are still around? No. Um, a loss. A loss. Um, three, three of my siblings oh. um, passed away. My um, condolences. Yes. I know mommy and daddy passed as yeah, well. Yeah, my mother and daddy passed away. Condolences as well. Yes, I give thanks. Mm, where did you attend school? Yeah, my first school was Michael Mandley Basic School down by South. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I move on to Excelsior. Primary. Primary, and then I move on to Vaxal. Eh? Right. Mm. Yeah. What was it like growing up financially back then though? Well, growing up financially, I wouldn't say it's, 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 it's a sufferation or a struggle. Even though everybody have a point in their life that they face a certain form of challenges. Seeing, cause knowing that my mother have 13 children, yes, um, you don't know how enough man stay. All them want to do is go around and breed the girl them and then go and left them. Mm. Seeing, but my mother, she was a hard fighter. My mother, she used to do iglarine. She buy, she buy and sell back food items and, and vegetables and so for to the restaurants and to the, to the places them around okay. Kingston, downtown, that deal with food things. So that's how my mother survived to take care of her 13 children. Well, my father was the last father out of the... My mother have six baby father, you know. <laughs> so my father was the last father that mm. came into the family and he stood there to help my mother, to assist her. My father went to farm work in the United States of America and he did farm work. He picked the American apples and so forth like that. And he, 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 he supported my mother to take care of us and he even gave her enough to take care of the other 10 children, them, you know? The food was on the table. Food was on food the was table. Food was on the back and shoes yes. on the feet. Yes. Give thanks. At what age or stage you now, Sir Richard, you started to fall in love with the music, you start realizing yeah. there's a musical vibration inside. Yes, all right. I started to fall in love with music when I used to attend the, the Michael Mandley Basic School down by South. Next door, next door, a boxing place named Dragon Gym. As you walk away from that, it's between a Dragon Gym, the right there, and you have a gully, and then you have Michael Mandley Basic School. Right next door there, so all right. Mm -hmm. So what happened now? I used to earn, I used to sing at Michael Manley Basic School from a tender age of nine year old. I was on like the choir there, and I sang and won a glass ship 
a toy glass ship that my brothers and sisters them used to catch water into a bucket and you used to have a, a thing that they twine it, it up. and mm, put it and okay. they just swim around like this, a Stay glass around. ship. Yeah. So that was the first sign of me knowing that I have talent from a tender age of about nine years old. Mm. Then I move on to Excelsior Primary. Then the talent keep following me. You know, when time you, you, you're going to school as a youth, you used to have some former artist or entertainer who used to sing in class, mm. like teacher walk out and is a break, a break, a recess. Dexter beat, yeah. Man, start beat, Dexter yeah. beat and he used to have a chant. So I Sabatot was doing that a lot in classroom. Mm. Yeah, teacher find out after a while and them didn't punish me for that because they realized that that was my talent. All them tell me to. Calm, calm it a little and don't, 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 don't obstruct yeah. the class in any way. But they didn't punish me like to suspend me or beat me like nothing like that because they saw the talent in me. So I have to big up one of my teachers who used to attend Excelsior Primary. His name is Mr. Jackson and the next teacher by the name of Mr. Grant. Yes. And I have to also big up a teacher at the Vauxhall School. Many past students from Vauxhall will tell you about this teacher. She's a love teacher. Her name is Miss Ramsey. Yes, I used to DJ and sing in Miss Ramsey class. And my, 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 my vocational teacher, he teach. In, in every school you have a teacher that teach some form of... Um, um, vocation, skill. skill. Yeah. So this skill teacher, he teach automotive, that's auto mechanic. Mm. And his name is Mr. Atkinson, or Mr. Atkins, yes. I used to attend his class to do mechanic. So him to know that I, I was an artist because as he come outside, the student then would be the this and Sabatoot will be singing. Now before I get this name Sabatoot, my name was Snandi Dan and then Slang Dan, you know? Oh, so there was a name before, Slang Dan? Yes. Oh, and you said that name was? Snandi Dan, okay. because Papa San, big oh. up Papa San. Papa San was like my big J. So I saw the Snan coming, Snan, because San mm -hmm. and Snan. Because I used to play Papa San record, I will survive, I will, and, 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 and play the flip side of the version and sing on it, you know? Mm. So I saw the Snandi Dan come in, and then Slang Dan come in afterwards. Okay. Yeah, so the Slang Dan come in to Skeng Dan, you know? Growing up in Nannyville, I used to saw Skeng Dan around the, 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 um, around the community, or I used to hear of him because mm. he used to stay over by a place named Swallowfield sometimes. So okay. he, he would visit Nanneville on some occasion to check his friends them, you know? Mm. Yes. So you, 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 you move from Snang Dan, Dan to Slang to Dan, Dan, Dan to Skeng Dan. Big mm. up Mr. Black, yes, yes I. Sir. So how now did the early love for the music progress into um, Yeah. So all, all that progressing now from, from school and the student them in the class beating this to Nanneville. Nanneville used to have a thing named Kana Clash. Mm. At every time, a point of the year, you used to have Kana Nanneville full of lanes, you know. All it have Wally Lane, they are Shanty part, they are Beng part, the Maroon part, because na Nanny of the Maroon, oh, for man, some hour, there. I think that Nanny of the Maroon used to try to those areas. That's why it named Nannyville, because mm. she used to walk the hills, you know. So you have a lot of Maroon name in Nannyville, like they are compound, you have a Shanty part, you have Maroon part, you have Charleston Way. Oh, okay. And, and, and you, have, you have many things, so, so, so every lane used to have a DJ. Mm -hmm. And I, I come from Charleston Way, but it didn't name Charleston and Way at the time. It's just a lane, 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 before they named the, right, the community. Right, right. So kind of I, I used to be very victorious by clashing each DJ or singer from each lane and murder them lyrically, you know? Yeah. Yes. So I saw... The, the talents that come within me to show that I have the talent and I start evolve from there. Then I start to um, you used to have two DJ from the community too. But before I got there, I love to let all the viewers know that Half Pint and Robert French, they are also some youths that 
rise up from Nannyville community. You know, Robert Finch used to reside in Nannyville and Half Pint used to reside in Nannyville, you know? Okay. Yeah. And then you now, so, so, so we're skipping back the page a little now. Mm -hmm. So after we in the corner clash them, me and Ninja Kids, they used to have Ninja Kids, are you named Ninja Kid? Eh? A ninja, ninja teeth. The two of them was a duet. Ninja kids. Ninja kids. So we used to go like to every school barbecue and fet and mash it up. Yeah. From long time. Even if like I come up with that, I'm going to mention something that I'm going to talk further on. Oh, well, you remember about Dave Kelly and Rialto with Wayne Wanda. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, 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 so I keep it tight yeah, and, and set so it right. You mash up, you keep on mash up the corner clash them. them. Yeah, we keep on mashing up the corner clash them, you know? So how the thing progress from corner clash? Yeah, so the thing progress from corner clash to, to, to the barbecues and right, the fet right, them right, that right, we used right, to do right, that right. except the Alpha and all these places. Then, then, Arrows come in at the play now where I start to go to Arrows because Arrows near Nannyville. Right. So I went to Arrows and then that's how I make Steely and Cleavy, who at that time producers was looking artists, going around looking artists, talent, you know, looking talented mm -hmm. artists to sign and to voice. And I won a, 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 a competition that Steely and Cleavy put on at Arrows and Steely. Took me to this studio that we were, we're doing mixing the interview, lab. Mixing Lab, to record. Mixing Lab was the first studio mm. recorded. Mixing Lab was the first studio that I saw to record it in. Not for Steely, but for a man by the name of G Wiz. G Wiz used to sell a car on, 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 on top, and um, besides um, Stanton Terrace. That's Topside National Stadium. Oh, okay. So you used to have G Wiz and a man by the name of Tommy. The two of them used to in combination producers and they took us me and ninja kids to this studio mixing lab to record that's the first time before steely take me to this studio okay oh okay okay Be between leaving school and and going to studio like that were you a mechanic somewhere along the, the, the journey yes i was a mechanic along the journey because mr atkinson or mr atkins who was my vocational teacher that that teach me automotive he saw the talent in me as 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 an artist, but also doing mechanics. So he told me that he gonna send me on a work experience because they used to send student on work I know experience. About that very well, man. So he sent me on a work experience at Scorpio Motive. That's that's that Scorpio Auto. It's on Agley Park Road, bil below Yummy Bakery and below Mitchell's Auto Supply, and that's when I met. A, a man who owned the garage by the name of Mr. Bishop. Salute Mr. Bishop. It's Mr. Bishop who actually made me put me in music, like, 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 like send me in music, old man, and said, This is what I want you to do because I see the talent. And I see the talent in you as a young apprentice doing mechanic, but him see me much more talented musically because I went to a place by the name of Godfather Nightclub. Who don't remember Godfather Nightclub? It is the same club that asylum. named the building an asylum. And Sanchez used to have a manager by the name of Neville. And Neville booked Sanchez to perform in that club and told me the night I must come to the club, Godfather Nightclub, because I'm going to make Sanchez call, call me up. And that's when I went there and when I started to perform, the whole place I mash up of my boss was inside the crowd with his baby mother and I didn't know that. So when I come back to work the other day, he called me, I said, Ringo, come here, office. So everybody, I said, what cool room, boss? Call it the cool room, what you do now? Then tell them, I don't do nothing, you know. The man said, the man just, the man just opened out him jaw and said, look here, no work for you today. I'm going to pay you off. Man does a count out, be a money son and teach them and now stop, you know. I was sitting at me and said, what is this? <laughs> so right away the, the boss said, look here, this, I'm giving this to you. And I want you to pursue music. And if you don't make it in music, you know yeah, that my door is always open for you. So I have to salute Mr. Bishop because yes, I did advance in the music, even though I know that I don't get my rightful slice of the cake, but the little crumbs that I get, I make use of it because I helped my mother before she passed away because I, I, I helped my mother in every little way because, you know, growing up in the community, you will see your mother in certain farmer situation, but 
the, 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 the culture and, 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 and the root of all Jamaican when they make it in life, set mama and set dada, you know? So I, I helped my mother from moving to a coal stove to a four burner gas stove. I first buy my, my mother used to have um, stove, you know, but like the personal stove back then. So I give, I, I advanced my mother to a, a four burner gas stove. I advanced my mother to a pastor pedic bed. Me make my mother live life before she had passed. I buy a brand new pastor pedic um, bed for my mother at Singer's. And, and, and then I also, I also buy a coach, a settee for my mother, a three-piece settee suit. Fix up mama, Yeah, I set mama See. and fix up the house too. Not only that, I fix up the house for my mother before she had passed. I make sure live some life. Plus my other brother, I have a brother by the name of Master. His name is Howard Master. He took my mother up to Canada, you know, back in the, in, in the, in the early 90s or uh, 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 late 80s and make sure live some good life. So, you know? <coughs> yes. So, Mr. Bishop, uh, the man, was see the talent. Yeah. And say, go on, music. music. Music, yeah. And then he said, no, you, you won that competition out by Arrows. Yes, and, and, Steely. and Steely. But even mm -hmm. before Steely, you came to Mixing Lab to record. Yeah, for G. Wiz and Tommy, yeah. Right. What was the name, that song that you recorded first? What, what is the name of that song? That song is, 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 that song, the name at the time was was a name Black Nin because his uncle Ninja Kid and some people from Nannyville can 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 let can, can come as a witness to this on top range. I used to have a song by the name of Browning and Black Nin. That's before Bujubantan come up with that Browning and Black Nin. Yeah, and if I'm earlier I, I told you that to, to remind me about right, Dave right. Kelly and Wayne Wanda because real time went to Realto and a talent show because Realto is a theatre done by Win yeah, Wanda. Yes. Yeah, yes, Realto, yes, yes, teach them. Realto is a theatre is, is a theater house like Carib Theatre where people go and watch movies. Mm -hmm. But at certain point of the year, More they do have performance there. there. So Dave Kelly used to God dear, I don't know if him God going there looking talent or whatever, but Dave Kelly is a good writer. So Dave Kelly was at the theatre at that time when Ninja Kids them was performing on on the show and they called me up because this is all we used to do. We used to have love. It's not like now we are artists a war with with one another, literally gun gun shooting thing. Back then, artists used to have love. Like one artist going to a studio, they tell everybody, everybody go. So Ninja Kids, them call me up and I sang a song by the name of Browning. Oh yeah? Yes, and that is where I saw Dave Kelly in, inside the reality and we no wonder. So I always told myself that is where Dave Kelly get the inspiration right. to Brown. write the Browning song. So when I came to a mixing lab studio, I recorded the Black Nin, the second version for, for Tommy because the first version, Browning, I recorded for Mixing Lab Studio here, you know, for Ray Francis. Yes, and I read him, my baby Wayne was on where he said, I love jail. I wrote me one drop, I recorded the Browning song and that read him. Now, Tommy is a friend of Ray Francis, Tommy, who him and G was first take, took, 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 took me to the studio. So that, that, that was that, you know? Mm. So now, you win the competition and you start versus Steely. You so start versus Steely. Yes. Yes. And, and Steely brought you right brought here. Right here, start mixing. What was the first song you recorded for Steely? The first song I recorded for Steely, I want a song named, it named Sex. <laughs> yeah. 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 A good song. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before we go any further, your Browning song, just for context, yes. give me a couple of lines out of your song. May I say, may I say, me get a new talk and it a run jam down. Yeah, yeah, me. Watch the brown girl nice and young. New talk and it a stop eat up the street. Watch the brown girl nice and neat. You see brownie. You have to rush them. A brownie run cop burn pen. You see brownie boy. You can load them. A brownie run grand spend. You know? So me just talking about the brown, brown girls from every different area. Brown girls from jungle, them on a dirty bungle. Brown girls from T Valley. You don't know them not deal with no folly. Mm. So I call every area and bigging up the brown girl them, you know? And you're saying that Dave 
may have taken inspiration from that yeah, yeah, to yeah. pen Browning. Yeah, I'm not saying that 100%, right. but well, I'm saying that it's a possibility of Dave Kelly get that idea right there. When Dave Kelly write that Browning song, he didn't write it for Buju Bantan, you know, is Tony Rebel him the one to sing that song. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, Tony Rebel say him don't want to sing that song and he give it to Buju, you know? Oh, so Tony never wanted to sing this song, no. so Buju did it. Buju did it. Mm -hmm. So, you are Steely start the summer. work. One of yes. the greatest to ever do Steely the thing. Steely name is Sabatou. Steely name is Sabatou. Yes. So, from Slang Dan yeah, to, to Sabatou, how yes. old Steely end up getting a name there? After one in the, the competition at Arrow Studio, Steely tell me, say, Slang Dan, I can't name him. So, mm. he, he might find a name, a, a name, a boss name for me. And he, when he named me that, I got a boss. And he went into Arrow's Doublet Studio and said, when I come back out, I got find a name for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the man going down, when the man come, on, man bust the door and say, yo, yo, everybody, I find a name for Slang Dan as of today, name is Sabatoot. See, it. and that was it. Mm -hmm. Still, they have a 190E Blue Benz. Once you drive in that Blue Benz, you bust as an artist because them time the Tiger, Papa San Lieutenant Stitchy, all these artists still was recording at the time. You used to drive them in the, in the Blue Benz. And when you're going, and you're going you're at the Benz, you bust. <laughs> still, they have that magic touch. One still, that. one still, it take you up as an artist. Still, the vice, no an artist named Mr. Nobody. Saying Mr. Nobody me is not really an artist named Nobody and those telling you right. still no, can't pick up anybody. still he can't pick up somebody who works in an office who don't know nothing about music and when still it finish and record something with you that come out around the whole place. Everybody in the music history know of that. Steel is one of the greatest. One of the greatest in true, this studio, I saw Steel and Dave Kelly merge their sound. Like Dave Kelly bring some of his Dave Kelly bring him drum machine. Uh, right in this studio, I start, saw that up in the know. Steely give Dave Kelly some of him sound, and Dave Kelly give Steely some of him sound. Right in this studio. Peace yourself, bro. We don't yes. want you to get your answer to work. Yes. Up, but yeah. I want the greatest. Argue over the greatest. Yes. To do the thing. For you understand what I mean? I just saw the thing go. Yeah. So you are Steely kind of develop a local chemistry. Which other song you, your voice is Steely? Me and Ghost did a song named Buffalo's. That come out, come out and I read it named Sniper. That still make me make the rhythm. Oh, yeah? And actually, me actually vice almost a album for Steely, you know. But it never manifests for it to release because Steely gets sick and passed away. I want to tell you before Steely died, Steely saw me run by Q45, that's in front of Stone Love HQ. Mm -hmm. And he said, I saw my tooth and came home. Nobody, no, nobody now came home. I see my DJ, yeah? And when I put Steely in my, my old Carola, it's a Toyota Corolla. Why I say old Corolla? Because it's a 1989, but it's in good condition still. Flatty. Yeah, yeah. They call mm -hmm. it deport, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Me so know, still, he said, I'm a drive with Saba. A lot of people who drive Benz and Range want to carry him home. He said, no. See me DJ, I Saba carry me home. Because I, I know where Steel live. I used to pick up Steel like every morning at his house. And, he, and we go to Elch and run on the sun and, and stuff like that. So Steel rate me from them time there. And I record me so when I put steel in my Carola to carry him where he live up by Waterloo Road near Richie Stevenson house, steel rest his head on my shoulder. I was sleeping while I was driving and you know, I'm head on my shoulder the whole time. But I tried not to swing the car, I dropped in no patrol because steel was ill at that time and I didn't want to wake him up. So I drive him all the way when I reach my yard, I say, me say, Bubba. Because Bubba me call him, and daddy school call him Bubba. I said, Bubba, you're reaching. I said, Allah, is Saba rich? I said, you're stealing. I said, all right, I'm going here. And I said, yeah, I'm taking time and walk, going to my yard. We live in our apartment, you know? So the, that is how it goes. I said, go record a song named Buffalo's. Mm -hmm. And being a man, I make a, still used to use me to DJ. And when me DJ, he, 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 he catch a momentum vibes of my voice and lay the rhythm track. And being the man of a song name, kicking for sure, heading for year four, seeing still make me make that rhythm, but he didn't release my song on that rhythm. Okay. Spragabens was on that rhythm too, but he didn't release my song on that rhythm. 
I don't know why, but anyway, Steely told me that he was going to make me be one of the biggest artists. Them time, the Steely was just recording some songs. Shabba Mossy just won the Grammy to Steely produce some awesome song with him. So Steely said he was going to turn me into a big, big, big worldwide mega artist. But he did manifest as well. He says, true, him passed away, you know. Mm. But I know potential is still there, and the Lord give me more life. So I know I'm going to pursue it one day to come. You recorded for the who is who in the business back then. Steely, Jamie's, Bobby, Digital, Sly and Rabbit, B. Massive B. Yes, taxi label. just name it Taxi. Uh, just name it, go right down. Roy Francis, Nine Holeness, who Observer produced that. a lot of songs with Dennis Brown. Mm. I, I, I do song for Al Striker Lee, the great Striker Lee, who voice a lot of songs with John Holt and yeah, Bonnie Lee. Some of the greatest Sonic Sound I record song for. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say that if you say this now, no, Saba, Zayn? Yeah. Like you were working with the greatest of the greats at the time. Yeah. Why is it we not have some classic songs on record with Saba Tooth having worked with some of the greats from back then? And the classic songs them is on record, you know, for real you know, to yes. really think about it. You know, they are on record, you know. Many classics on, on record, yes. As I said, you were working with 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 with, with the greats. The greats. The greats of the yes. greats. Yes, in, 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 in your opinion, which, which are the songs? I know that you have a, a song with Ian Barrington and Levy did that did yes, really well. That's, that's, that's my first hit song in the chart for J.R. Junior Reed. Yes, a a Junior song, Reed? Yeah, Junior Reed produced that song. Mm. What the title of that song again? In the name Nano Sickle Down. Nano Sickle Down. Yeah, some girls na 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 settle down, na 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 settle down, settle down, down. I'ma come in, girl. The way things are run, me know your body done. You don't have a steady man and touch a touch and run. That is my first hit song, and then we move on to a song that Nine Holeness produced with me and the late Jimmy Riley, most I rest him soul in peace. A song named Little Did You Know. That was also a hit, a hit song on the, 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 the RGR Top 100. Mm. And then Aquarius is known as the number one record shop in Jamaica. They used to be right in front, Africa, Mandela so. Park. Yeah. Um, you have a virgin by the name of Earl. Earl is the first person that Moon is a discover, but in fine Bujo Bantan and an artist named Luki D and Major Christie. Once them and they see you as a young artist and take you up and start voice you, everybody wants to start voice you. So I record a next big hit song for Aquarius Records, the, the label named Duke Records at the time, yeah. Earl owned it, a song named Holy, Holy Fate. Fate. That's Me my signature that. song. When mm. Father Me Weepo yeah. see me, he says, Holy Fate in a Sabbath, that song that my song, you know. Anyway, Weepo see me, big up yourself, Mr. Father Paul, Stone Love. Yes, yeah, sir. Make a couple of bars out of Holy Fate. We started so. Deliver me from mine enemies, oh my God. Defend me from them that rise up against me. Them can't conquer with man. Undo power stone. Man, I only fear it. I'll know drought I go on only fear To suffer rich and our storm only fear Move up stick lamp if you wear straight only fear Oh yes, oh yes Man stand up firm like a rock and Jano in a shake The Lord's anointed that way them can't eliminate To a evil be again This is a earthquake in a big pretty young skyscraper and estate Ja works a pearl and you know that is great, you know? Vice the big bro yes, man, sir. powerful man Yes sir Pepper seed Mm -hmm. Why me never hear? I mean, know your voice, Pan right. Pepper Seed. Now tell what have, what's <laughs> the name of your song, Pan Pepper Seed? My, um, the girl them calling. The girl them, why that song didn't release? All right, now tell you why that song didn't release. The main, the main truth and the real truth about that was that is cool, that is cool. Anyway, then in the world, and you see this interview, big up Sabatot. I know that what didn't happen then can still happen now. That is cool was the main problem. That is cool was scared of any artist who come into the camp of Dave Kelly Maddows or what the Dave Kelly records did name at the time to record. And Sabatooth used to par with Terra Fabulous. So two Terra Fabulous was dominating the place so cool, yeah. at that time. And Terra Fabulous maybe told Dave Kelly about me to voice me and me come in. Cause that is Dave Kelly sent that is cool 
to find me and Spraga Benz at Arrow Studio. Me and Spraga yeah, Benz was Chris, standing I there. Think Chris mentioned that yeah, too. but the, he did mention the Spraga Benz part right, because right. he would know that. Okay. Because me and Spraga Benz was standing up next door at Arrow Studio at the Shell Gas Station when that is who came to us and telling us that Dave Kelly want to voice out at, at Penthouse Studio and we must come there. So. Well, when I went to Penthouse, I actually record the song, but I would have said, I threw me stand up and different Frisco Kid. That's why my song no release to Frisco Kid. So me that's say I sacrifice myself for Frisco Kid, go to, and, and that is going to end up all back to that is going my song don't release because to, that school is not an engineer to let this clearly. He is an artist, but maybe he know of a punching because one time he's a 24 chuckle record bin and it wasn't like this where they have the laptop or the Apple thing. So that is school told the engineer to get up from around the penthouse board and him sat there. Want to record it in Frisco, but him giving Frisco Kid a hard time. Tell him Frisco, you're not going to make it come, come. And Frisco Kid actually come out of the voicing boat and actually. See, like Frisco Kid one ball, you know. I must have a seraphim because I see the big sabotage in that screw, what he was doing. So I start to defend Frisco Kid and say, that is screw, you're not an engineer. Get up from around the board now. I made the engineer sit there and, and give Frisco Kid a chance. So to me, it was different for Frisco Kid. That is screw and me were having a big problem in the studio. So I was like saying, you see me tell Dave Kelly, you know, advise them boy, you yeah, know, because this and that and that and that. So after Frisco Kid done voice me, go around there and voice my song, the gal them calling, the gal them balling. What me say? The gal them moaning, just to Sabbath to the riding. What me say? The gal them screaming, the gal them groaning, the gal them moaning, just to Sabbath to the riding. What me say? You know that song my voice and the reading. Girl, from you have the gum shan, man, want the gum pan, so you get the extension. The jam, you go go that time, man, so girl position the wish. Eh? That song my voice one big song. I'm not telling you. Road, right I'm not telling you. That's cool. I make that song to come out. And <laughs> that was my turning point for me to make it in life right there. Because yeah. any other that song the release, I would have become a Dave Kelly artist. Because, not us. Yeah, so Frisco Key me that say. Get my slice of the cake right there because true me was helping Frisco Kid. They come like say, me, me that is cool, find problem with that mm -hmm. and help sabotage my song from being released. You know, Dave, Dave Kelly told after me voice my song from start to finish. Mm -hmm. You know, that is cool, telling Dave Kelly that me if you change the first verse to the second verse and put the second verse where the first mm -hmm. verse is. And Dave Kelly was sitting there all along listening what that is cool saying, but he wasn't he wasn't be an objective person to, to say the song wasn't good or nothing. Mm -hmm. Dave Kelly was nodding in the head all along enjoying the song till it finished. But what Dave Kelly said to me is him says, Saba, I want you to come back a different day to record over the song. Record. See? And at the day when Dave Kelly gave me to come back, I did have an appointment to record for King Jamin son, that's Jan Jan, and, and for Stone Love, Father Weepo. So I couldn't come back at the time and I couldn't be, be tell Dave Kelly that at the same time. So what they happened now, to me book the appointment, because at them time the artist, producer told you when to come to the studio, you know, and if you don't come to the studio, somebody else get your opportunity. So what happened now, they, I couldn't go back to Penthouse to record over the song, but I did go record two big 90s monster hit for these two big producers at the time, that's Jan Jan and for we Stone Love Weepo. I recorded their song name, Big Talk and Promise. Terra Fabulous was on that rhythm name. Not you not going in on your face, so you want to get a man. And Bounty Killer was on the same rhythm with New Gun with Shot Bad Boy, your burst. Never sang the woman. Oh, you make me talk and promise. Big Bounty will have a hope you can defend it. If I did not, and the girl be uncle that grab it. One steady John and the girl get panic. So all she a call on a ball. Run it like she want tear down me wall. Jam it. That was a big monster eating the dance hall at about 1992-1990. Then I recorded a song the same day. Two big hit my record that same day. One for Stone Love, We Power song name. The woman they must have walked around in the neighborhood. I look for Sabbath out for the little bit. The case code, me give them the code, code. The code, the code, the code, 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 code. 
You know, them song them was you no know, radio play song at yeah, the time. But they're big in the streets. Big in the street and the dance hall. And if it was no, I record those song, I would have said, I wouldn't say good wood. I would have said the gallon more the good good. The more the good the good 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 good. <laughs> so it would have get the radio play and get and end up to top the chart to go number one, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So 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 when I said that no. I said that in, in f pertaining to what you have said before. Well, yeah, so yeah, Omido yeah. have no no big hit, but then working with so much good right. producer. Well, yeah, so big hit, but what's a classic? I know you have. Yeah, yeah, me have class. Me have yeah, enough good well. classic like me and Cecil. I went to Kings of Kings and saw Cecil was a receptionist at the time. That a celestial son. Yes, yeah, celestial son with Stephen Ventura. And Scatter Burrell used to was the apprentice the engineer. engineer there. Steve Ventura used to teach Scatter Burrell how to do engineer work. Big up Scatter Burrell. And I recorded a song that Jennifer Lopez just put out at the time, but it was a, a number one on the billboard. And I told Cecil if we sang that song, it would give her a big bus in the dance hall. And then we record that song. If you have my love and I gave you all my trust, would you comfort me? And I saw prosperity, lad, come in. This is before the politician them using prosperity. <laughs> yeah, I used right. to have a recording label named Prosperity. Also, oh, and, and Prosperity, before Brimstone and, before Fire. and Fire, Prosperity is my first recording label. But through the politician, them tarnished <laughs> and nasty it up in our way. We just change the name. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, that one, uh, right. So, the, 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 uh, what is the title of the song with, with, with Let You Have My Love? That's the title of the no, song. No, it named Girls Forget Love. Girls Forget Love. Yeah. Well, we see it as Let You Have My Love, that place. That was a big, big hit. Big monster hit. Actually, Boogie Bantan got to New York and hear the song I play and at 97 and come back and say, Saba, me hear a song for you in New York. I will invite a song there for I mean, I say, Celestial Sound, you know. Yeah, and Steve Ventura, I must say, yo, I want to read him there. Oh. And Buji end up going to voice a song, say, in a me, I'm so holy up and read him to my song. Because Saba took off a big voice, like Shabba ranking them, or sound like Buji, you know. So, Buji, Buji, I have to big up Mr. Myri. Now, at a point, I was recording, I was Gargamel recording artist. If you check about the history of the music that, um, that Gargamel music put out, you will, you will see a lot of compilation at Buju release that Sabatooth songs them was on ah. that compilation. Yes, I. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So basically, that was Cecil first song. First, first big song. song. First hit song, yeah. yeah. As, as we said that, I'm going to reach a point here. I have, I have heard conversations before where... You know, it, it has been said that Sabatooth has claimed influence in the emergence of a number of artists in the business. Cecile being one. We hear a few things, guys. We yeah. hear with Sizzler, Louis Culture, one, one, one part of the, part of the thing, yes, Zine, and we hear Sabatooth on the next side. Of, or, or, or the Sizzler thing. I'm going to really tell you really quick. So, so, yeah, so, real so, quick. So we can deal, deal with it. Yeah. All right. I was in Nannyville, no Ninja Kids, and we used to perform. Ninja Kid live our one place near Miglis in a, in a Nannyville near Texas. Sizzler used to come to Texas to check Caveman Studio, a man named Dr. Cave. Yeah, man. See? Man, man, so, Chum used to come there from school. Um, practicing in, in, in DJ craft, because oh. Caveman used to have a studio up by Nannyville. So that's why Sizzler leave from August Town or leave from school and come there to master his craft. So Ninja Kid, so me meet Sizzler because Sizzler come there. So he always right. tell me about this youth named Sizzler. Mm. Yeah, mama go teach them. He always told me about this youth named Sizzler. Same talent in mama help him because me was the big recording artist, recording for all of the big labels named Ninja Kid. He was recording for so much big recording label name because Ninja Ki used to have a style about him. If he invites one song for teach them, he invites it for Keisha, he invites it for Sabatooth, he invites it for Spontaneous, he invites it for everybody. So everybody I find themselves with the same song. So no producer no one invites him because them have it say, he might go vice over what Kim sang them. So everybody advised me and not him at the time. So him no say I have the link. To advise everybody else, yes, teach them. Go, me do okay, right, right. So that's how he I may mean, I mean, try to introduce me for help Sizzla. So at the time, I was recording for Bobby Digital, that's Digital B, Shabba Ranking producer. I was recording a song named The Gal Dema Cruise, Pan Dude, Dude, Cruise. See, at the time, so 
I told Sizzler to come check me the other day because I'm recording that song for Bobby Digital. So when Sizzler came to me, you know, I took him to Bobby Digital and tell Bobby Digital about him. And Bobby Digital tell him, say, let me hear you. So when Sizzler start DJing, you know, Bobby Digital say, yeah, man, him sound good, but here what? Mm, check back one year time because Bobby Digital, them still like Dave Kelly and steal them, you know. Them no good artists and know when you're fully ready and when you're not mm. ready. So I call Sizzla one side and say, look here, don't feel no way about that. Them man, they are the god in our music. So if him tell you, say, come back one year time, it must be a good reason. All you for do just start come here on your regular every day mm. and practice your craft. And Bobby Digital is the producer that gave Sizzla in first big worldwide established number one, a song named Babylon, give them a rhyme, feed them money, get them funny, and then put out some of his like, biggest yeah. album, like Black Woman and Child, yeah, yeah, yeah. That song, they come out with an album and put out his like, album named Rise to the Occasion. Some of his like, biggest work in my career, Bobby Digital put it out. So I know that, that I saw that have contributed a whole lot to his like, career. Also, Dele Ranks, I make Dele Ranks get him first, him first hit song on the JR Production Junior Reed label. And, and because I took Dele Ranks in my car to Junior Reed to make, beg, beg Junior Reed to voice him, Dele Ranks come to me one day and start uh, actually a cry. I said, boy, Saba, I never have a song up on the radio yet, you know. Anytime I have a song up on the radio, my boss me say, where is Dele Ranks? And put Dele Ranks in my same Toyota Corolla, drive to RJR. And say, sit in the car, turn on the radio. I say, I go up in the radio, in the RGR studio boat now to Garfield Hamilton and try my clean them and tell them, say, if I play your song and make you hear it in my car. And I say, if you ever do that, man, I say, I love you, God, it help you more. And I am a boss. And I say, wait, say, all right, wait. And take him 45 song and car go up in the studio because them time they, this, this jacket them playing the vinyl. It's not like CD or a thumb drive now. Garfield Hamilton. Try McLean and Dalton Lee it was there and they played him song and he, he, he heard it in my car and when they come out him I come back in the car and say me hear it sab I'm a boss now mm -hmm. and then just after that now a couple a couple of years after Delhi Rang start link up with Steve Genius that's Freddie McGregor's son we are in produce Red Bull and Guineas and them with him there where, where him really help cartel and more the where them I do where them I try them song there and you know. I think that Dele Ranks could have reached out forward to Sabatooth and voice me and them reading me. But enough Jamaican people have this to say, it's not who you help in life, come back, come help you. But I think that is a bad-minded talk, teach them. Because if you teach them, give this interview to Sabatooth like what you're doing right now. And when you put out this interview, a lot of people view it and some companies see me and check out my track record and, and find my file and say, no, I want to sign Sabatooth and them sign me and put out an album that I call it Grammy. I would have said, is teach them really help me and for some, oh, me that reach for, for back out to you, teach them and Keisha and all, they, they teach Keita. them. <laughs> I, I call her Keisha. Oh, yeah, Keisha. Yeah, Keisha. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so like, yeah, Akita, 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 so you don't know, so you're instrumental in a song. But we're not going to interview be about that. You're not going to interview be about Sabatooth. Yes. So we're just going to touch and go with certain okay, things. Okay, yeah? So okay. Delhi, we know you play a role in General B's emergence as yes. well. Yes, yes. I took Delhi General B to this same studio. That, that is how General, General B get the bus. Right here, we was, we was, we was doing an interview at Mixing Lab. Because after winning the, the, the clash, still he told me to come here. And General B was powering with a youth named Major Wani from C yeah, And mm -hmm. General B said, he won't power with me and I fight for power with me and Major Wani said, I come to but I couldn't carry the two of them because next thing, me not get for vice and the two of them vice. <laughs> so when me carry General B, that's how he boss in me, Colin Fata, because him sing a song named More for Steely. Just oh. the other day, me went over Port Moore and Colin Fata come into the studio. And still he play the song and say, I want to hear that youth because still he maybe couldn't take on no more artists because he just mm -hmm. de a deal with me and some more artists. And I saw him give General B to Colin Fata. So General B start boss. So what if you me contributed help to in which that's why you helped me forward because I do a lot of good. So Sizzler, Cecile, 
Deli Ranks, General B, and the list go on. DJ Wayne and ZJ Liquid. Yeah. Master Wayne and Lipo. Yeah, Master Wayne and DJ Lipo. Them you there are you to I Sabatood really take them up in hand and drive them around in, all over Jamaica in my in my yeah, time like so when you forward at all are you responsible yeah, to, yeah, to help to help them so me know DJ ZJ Liquid can reach out back to Sabatooth forward to Sabatooth and find some song with Sabatooth we can play them on Zip FM and maybe get a big hit seeing DJ Wayne all DJ Wayne play every day upon IR FM is loud you see what I'm saying <laughs> but at least he make it becomes a hit a still slang. you know saw, he but he could have find a song because <laughs> me have a lot of song my voice with Capleton, Sizzler, Beris Amman, Richie Spice, Anthony B and all these songs given to him where him could have made them become a hit. So when I play it down, Uncle, the, the, the jingle name, lad. I play them in the future, man. Yeah, I don't give up on him. Because I know, say... Whistle, I'm going to play them, Whistle, whistle, whistle. I big you up, you know, yes. All I say to, to you, whistle, is the helping hand that Sabbath would give to you. Make you merge from At102 to IRFM. You and ZJ Liquid who merge to ZipFM. So, it's never too late for your show off rain, as a screechy Joe said. So that means uh, it's never to what didn't happen then can still happen now. See and teach them. Yes, true sir. That, true that, true that, true that. You also, as I said now, because we are focused on Sabbath, Sabbath too, but that's a yes, part sir. of the journey. Yes, you understand? Sir. So you would have helped some man who can feed themselves yeah. and the family just to see yeah. And we give thanks to that. We appreciate the man's contribution yes, sir. to the music. But on your musical journey, you would have done. You mentioned a song with the young ghost. Yes. What, 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 what is that song the name? That song named Buffalo on the studio, <laughs> studio 2000. And the fed up with it, and goes our next yeah, song, that's, Progress. That's my first number one song on the Sly and Rabbit label. Taxi, you Taxi did it label. For. My first number one song. That song went for number one for three months in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Sly. number one. Sly and Rabbit again. Ganja yeah. Man, Stalag. Stagalag. Stagalag, right. Yeah, that, that advice that song for Massive B, Bobby Candace. Mm. You have a tune in Witness. Witness advice that for King Jammins. Mm. And, and the reason why I do this, you know, I show people say, Sabat, because truth is, I have watched one or two interviews with Sabat too. Yeah. When I'm looking at the comments, you know, people are saying, Sabat too, spend too much time, a cost of the people instead of focus on film. So I'm coming so to focus, focus on me. Yes, journey. I. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Zane, watch your mouth. I like that song. Watch your mouth. Yeah, man. That, I don't even remember who <laughs> me record that song there for about. It's a big song. The song I say, Who no better? My no, no run up on a moat. Disrespect, head back, fly, throw him out on the better. My no, no beat up on the gov. This the program, boy. You face the magnum cause. Original gangster and a nurse. Enemy try to think them, I'm going to get to blood thirst. What? Yeah, I said so. Showtime. All right. I recorded that song for Bone to Killer first in this studio. And the priceless label. And the priceless. And I really named the Valley of Death. Yes, and then I recorded for the show and the showtime rhythm for um, Aquarius Records. Oh, okay. That's Kennedy Records. Yes. I think I actually David did do the song for still. No, it no, wasn't yeah. Dave Kennedy. Two minutes showtime. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The make over. I know I make it make over because I'm listening to me. I said, this is not the real yeah, yeah. rock or time showtime yeah. still. Any of that device from <laughs> the Dave, Dave <laughs> Kennedy, they're the boss Gone. bigger. Mm. And as I said, them time, they sabotage. We wasn't caring about really them time there. So yeah, the streets. it was the streets. Yeah. So anyhow, anyhow, it was now them song that would I would have the radio version mm. and them song that would have become massive hit, you know? Yes. There was a time when there was conversation around the street that Sabatooth was a madman. <laughs> well, that was just a wicked bad man act that people trying to, to say about I and I because they they did not see me. I eat out on a garbage pan. They did not see me um, looking anywhere because who knows Sabatou know that Sabatou we are the latest in everything. Sabatou always smell fresh and clean. I always out there. That was just some wicked bad man people. Uh, everybody know about a lot of Jamaicans at the time. They will try to try off for you when them see you talented. Who, who say try off for you? You have people who eat on you for no reason. And they will go to Obia man or they will try to do your wickedness. And then it, when they now see that I am, they will say the worst thing about you. But oh God bless, no one curse. 
And from me know myself, my, my brothers and sisters, them been carried me to church. So I know the power of the Lord. And I know that when the Lord is with you, nobody can be against you. When I started growing in here? I started to grow my locks in early 2000. Early 2000? Yeah. Mm, you live the rest of your life where you just grow some locks. No, me live the life, you, <laughs> you know, Kaka, Ewa. I accept Rastafari Ali, his Imperial Majesty Emperor Ali Selassie the first. And me know say Rastafari um, liberty is not, is not, is not about us talking about Rastafari. Most of all is caring and sharing. Yes, it's Rastafari li true liberty. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. sure that you care enough for, for each one, like how oh, you show your care for you. Yes. You know, you know I think about yeah. that. And, and I'm telling you something. It's not all about Sabbath talking about people. You see, if you don't, if that's how you name teach your them, you know. Still. That's how you name I teach them. We teach them. The children, I teach them. We teach them. The youth, them, I teach them. We now go steer them. So if we don't teach the people, all oh, them are gonna be educated. They're not gonna be educated. They're not gonna know nothing. And that's why your story is the number one story on YouTube. And people will comment and say yes because I teach them. Always find the real artist to. To carry across the message to the world, to make them hear. No, listen to me. I said all of that to say this. Ding Dang was a football player from Mountain View, and when I saw him in Nannyville, after knowing that Ding Dang had come from a background of his father was an area leader, I didn't want him to go that way. So I took my personal money that I saved in my bank. I went to my bank and drew my money. And, and, and make a rhythm by the name of Football Dance and did a video that's Ding Dang first video in him career. Two, oh, yeah? two videos, Ding Dang first video, now a video with me and Yami Bowler that I produce and write the song. Beautiful, wonderful. beautiful, wonderful. And the next second video for Ding Dang in the Ding Dang career first is Football Dance. That's when Ding Dang get the bus. If people only watch them two videos up on YouTube, only we see Ding Dang in them two videos, the beautiful, wonderful Yami Bowler and Sabatooth. A football dance with Ding Dang that I went to Bob Marley Studio and Steve Marley gave me the, the studio to shoot that video there. I didn't know you, you, you played a role in Ding Dang. Yeah, man. Dance, man. Um, I, I'm Ding Dang, I'm me, Ding Dang, and the mother can reveal it because I used to took Ding Dang to Fretcher's Land every <coughs> Sunday in my same white Carola to his mother for dinner. And one day I'm looking at the mother and say, Mama, what me done work for your son musically? He mago can give you everything you want in life. And she pam on the shoulder like so teach them. I say, son, I would have loved that day come because from him father pass away and die and me alone I struggle with him. Me say, Mama, don't worry about it. God I got help me if you help him. And God did help me if you help him because at a point didn't then come to me and told me that him get about three or four ton down stamp in his bank book, in his passport. He went to the, the American Embassy, embassy and them turn him down. I'm, I'm telling him, say, look here. As of today, the next time I go to the embassy, they might give you a visa. I'm say, what do you mean by that? Me they say, me say, oh God bless, no one curse. And me, I said these two words, sound and power and word, I go manifest. And this I go, I'm, I'm leave you come see ding dang now. I help all it more you to me give thanks for even though I never reach forward back out to me now that even me need a help. But me know say, even if ding dang never help me again in a life. Somebody else like teach them or somebody else I'm gonna reach out to Sabatoot and give me a helping hand. But as I say, it's a wicked bad man act that a lot of Jamaican have. When people reach out to and help you and make it in life and it's in the pass them along the way. That is not a good thing, Bridget. And you can reach out forward to <laughs> them. And help them. Yes, That's I. your label. Yes. And you would have done quite a bit of work released from, from, from that label. Yes, quite a good a few of albums. Work. Few albums. The Revolution. The Revolution is right now album. I have, I have like an album named Excellency. I have an album named Rated Best. I have an album named I World King, a.k.a. I Sabatooth and Friends, Volume 1. Mm -hmm. That a, is the one where Barry's and Richie Stevens is yes, on. Yes, yes. That is the, the historical album that I told about by about the first album that an individual artist ever produced. With, with, with all with, collaborations. With, with, with a straight collaboration with some of the biggest names. What's the name of that album again? I World uh, King, a.k.a. I Sabatooth and Friends, yes. Volume 1. Al Marshall Mantanda, the killer king of Soka, is on that album. Mm. And why I say that is because it says so. See that album, the right hand do right there, so now, you know. When to finish, I'm going to make it, you okay. know, shine the something on the cool, team. Cool, cool, cool. No, I say all of that to say this because I've said earlier, 
how Sabatudo have some classical hits, mm. working with so much good producer. Producers. And why I, I, I say all of that to say this is because on that album, every single track on it is a hit song. And they may not be a hit song then, but sometime in life, some good this jockey or good yeah, record company going to take it up back because Richie Spice have done an album, a song named Earth Around Red five years ago and it's when him signed with Fifth Element that song went to number one. And him did it from 92. Yeah. True, true, true. And I also sang a song named Cool It Down with Beres Amman. I saw about to record it, two songs with Beres Ford Amman. Now when Beres Amman record a song with you, Combination are himself voice it and him harmony house label with you. That is a hundred percent good. A goal that brother. Goal that yeah, and Barry's a man really take me up and record it. Two songs with me. One name cool it down. Me, Barry Saman and Richie Stevenson, so you know, say that must be a hit. And then you have to say, why that don't got it? I don't know. All me know, say, my father passed away and me give the song to a RFM DJ and him start to play it then. Richie Stevenson helped promote the song and get Johnny Wonder from New York to blast the song. And the song went viral worldwide. Then I just came down from New York 2010, got to Barry Salmon and tell him that Barry is here. The car Barry say, here the song that I play more no, a hoof a song. Because not even Barry didn't know it was his song. And I got to him and said, Barry Salmon, this is your song that you produce. I asked me, oh, me get it. I said, them time the berries, you give the song to me and I, I buy a cassette. And when my father passed away, the, this jockey, they want a song to play for me to build up, build up, build up my vibration because they know me sad, you know. And so they want to show me some candle. And so I gave the song to this IRFM DJ. <coughs> see, and that is how the song I play. But Barry Sama was saying, me release the song. Mm -hmm. I was kind of vexed with me at the time. But Mr. Aman, you shouldn't be vexed because it's not me release the song. It is VP Records that released the song on Richie Stevenson's album. Not me no, because me wanted the song from my album. It's long after me put it on my album because I got to Harmony House and explain it to Barry's manager, Miss Walsh. And I asked her to ask Barry to give me a song and he said, yeah, I can't go on with it now. Mm -hmm. Then turned after Richie Stevenson, don't put it out on film album for VP Records. Then... Barry Summer was like vexed with me, upset because me and Barry Summer was close, close, you know. I actually voice an album for Barry Summer and the house, you know, but it still never manifests. So I sometimes I'm traumatized because I was wondering if it is that song that make Barry Summer don't finish release the rest of my song them. Because me and Barry Summer have another combination song, you know, that him don't release, you know. And when, when I was explaining it to Barry Salmon, Barry Salmon was upset with me like him was vexed with me, you know. It was Donovan, Jeremy, and Bujubantan manager that said to Barry Salmon, no, Barry Sikia, <laughs> vexed with Salmon for that big up Donovan, Jeremy. And, and Barry said, why you say that? Um, Donovan Jeremy said to Beres, Beres, remember I said, the song when you pull up the vibes that you're playing with the Ambujo. I just record the song with you and gone to foreign now. I never tell you to put Bujo Bantan on the song. It's when me there foreign, you, you, Barry Saman, recorded Bujo Bantan on the song without my German uh, approval. And me never vex with you. Me never, me never, me never have the song. Give Saba to a chance, man. Mm -hmm. Dan of a German told him yes. that. Yes, I. I heard you saying a few times, Saba, say, the reader this jacket them now, you know, love. But the truth is that while radio is still important, radio is not the be all end all. You know. Social media, the thing, man. And, and, and ask if you ask, the, the, the albums that you have released, the revolution and all the albums, yeah? yeah. Are those albums available on the digital play stores, the iTunes, the Spotify, them places there, the Zoja, the CD, BAB, the Pando, wherever mm -hmm. music is. All right, stream. yes, those albums are available on all digital platforms. All my, most of my works, um, albums, them that available online, distributed by Zoja okay, Worldwide and cool. by Happy Loss. So people can go on find this okay, platform cool. and type in Sabatooth or I Working and find this album. And when I say I'm not getting love from radio um, DJs, get, get it proper and let us set it straight. Yes, I'm getting love. From some of the okay. radio DJs, them like after salute Muta Baroka, after salute GT Taylor, after salute still the late Ellis Kelly and Ran Mushet them because they're not an IFM no more, but right. well, they, they, they put in the work. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. after salute 
Big A and Gear G and Talia Powers because these are some of yeah, big up the them DJs. people already still there. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 just come back with yeah, us yeah, and right. I'm yeah, getting yeah, love. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I have to tell you that these people that show me love, mm. even though DJ away and him still show me some love, same way, maybe don't get the true love from him because it's DJ away and as DJ Liquid that responds for Vibes Carter and Mavado establishment in the music industry because them personally bust these two artists even Deli Ranks I introduced Deli Ranks to Lil Liquid ZJ Liquid and DJ Wayne like tell them say fight and play the youth a tune and and, and say DJ Wayne and Liquid this is Deli Ranks Deli Ranks this is Liquid yes see and so, so and them bust him right so me I said they could have helped me the same way but they did not reach out to me the same way. But me know say never too late in a ZJ liquid. Yeah, man, we talk about liquid already, man. Yeah. I'd, 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 I'd have whistle. Is it? A whistle, well, we yeah. Now, I'm glad to hear so the music is out there where people can yeah, access it. Yeah, them can still access it. Yeah, man. Yeah, I recently just did an ex historical al album named Honoring the Legends in which I sang over a song with Bob Marley and the Whalers, one with Alton Ellis, one with Joe Higgs, one with Marcia Griffiths, one with most of these icons in the music, like Burning Spear, Jimmy Cliff. So this is also... What the name a, of that album? This album named Honoring the Legends. See, and distributed by Zojak Worldwide. Mm -hmm. Speak, can you say Zojak and, and um, some other people with the distribution? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all on the man, right. And you have been in the music for a long time, Saba. See? Yes. You have recorded, like, as we said, the Uizu, all of the massive producers there. Yes, sir. Except Coxon, come up. You, you yeah. record for them, yeah. man. See? How are things republishing and royalties with Simeon Richards' work? Yes. Well, I have a big up Jams, and we still have a big up PRS, and we still have a big up JCAP. Now, recently, um, I, I, I'm still I'm still receiving um, my royalty, no matter how much it is, but I still give thanks whatever I'm still receiving. Mm -hmm. PRS recently contacted me that my, my, my bank keep turning back my royalties yeah. because I don't know of, of, of what, so they asked me to give, upgrade, give them an upgrade. So, so I recently sent them forward some of... A, 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 a new bank in information to them. Good so man, as soon as we start receiving royalty now back from PRS. So salute PRS in England, yes. And we are salute Jams, Mr. Mullins and all the staff of Jams because there we are still receiving yes. some royalties, you know? Give them. Yeah. For the people out there now who are um, book Sabatooth and especially the sound man them for dub plate. How them read Sabatooth? Well, you can read Sabatooth on Instagram, I Sabatooth are on Facebook, I Sabatooth, aka I World King. So, I Sabatooth on Instagram are I World King, and you will find me. Or you can call me directly, please. 1 876 578 9285. Run it again. 876 578 9285. Yes, I. The song that you did with Sanchez that you mentioned earlier, Overstanding. Classic. Classic. The great Kevin Jackson. Great Kevin Jackson. For salute the late Mr. Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls sang it originally as a song named Understand. Understanding. Understand each I other. Flip it and go overstanding. Overstanding, yeah. Because ah. you know, she was a Rasta and Moot always as a bubble and say, well, understand. So they put it understand. So I have to overstand, yes. you know? So this song is a classic, knowing that Mr. Kevin Jackson has not put out, put out no song for over 20 years or whatever. And I, I recently get the opportunity to do this song. And when you see Sanchez, voice a song with an individual, it's not of money or it's not because your big name. It's because he see that this is worthy to be done. So I do it. And when I reach out this song, I, I send this song to an individual. I big up DJ Amber. DJ Amber says she's going to play the song. And I refer him to the public. But up to this day, she did not play the song. But I know DJ Amber. There's also a second chance for somebody in life. And there's also an opportunity that you can give someone that you never give them yesterday. You can give them today or in a day in the future to come. So I know that one day, DJ Amber, you will play the song name Overstanded with Sanchez and Sabatou, but because it's a classic. Mm. 
just my teaching favorite them. rhythm, the slang thing. Dapa. Dapa. <laughs> Dapa. Yes. Big a couple lines All right. right. This song, I, I think, is either me vice before or born to kill a vice large. No, after. Okay. No, this song, this name Dapa was going around. Where, 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 where a man say, yo, me and a tata, me a dapper. Not dapper as in a fish, you know. Dapper as in a general. Seen? So you are say, I get a line of that. Me are say, boss me, gun for kill no boss it for injure. Dapper no pet no nurse in pharma people, boss me. Gun for kill no boss it for injure. Dapper no pet no nurse. All right. Chow we a dapper. Flex hardcore. Them think we a tata. Gun in a hand and finger pan chiga. Aim to the target. You have a shatter out the nigga. One man will praise none the almighty Jaja. Jaja come first. Hey, them for no. A dapper, we are real dapper. John John or James. No, we, I, I did that for King James. James. Glory. With the great. Yeah, e Ecamos. All right. Ecamos um, get deported and they are Jamaica e, in a farmer, like a difficult situation. And I get into the full details, but some light told on him, some vibe go on with him where him and them will work out that. But I saw him come from jungle one day and look very depressed and telling me that boy, he not nah get no love at all. Nobody now nah play him song and thing like that. The so I, e the great Eka Mouse. So I took pen and paper and write that song Glory and tell him, say, so in your voice a song, yeah, this is going to be your turn. <laughs> hey, God Almighty, no. Me always help the people them in a life. And then when me need back a help, it's like it's very difficult for me. And, and, and I don't know why, but me know say my help is in the good Lord God Almighty. Whether only people know him as Jesus Christ of Nazareth or Rastafari or Allah, I know that my help is in the most high hand. And God is my help. If human being don't want to be my help, God Almighty is my help. See and teach them after me write the song. Me tell he come out say, this is going to be him turning point in a life. After I'm voice the song, him toward them, everything will come back in a life for him. And when we record the song in Nannyville at Eclipse Studio, the first person we gave the song was Muta Baruka. Then we sent it out to everybody because I have like every this Jackie email address in my email, you know. Once I type in A, I see all A, this Jackie name come up, B, all B, worldwide, local and worldwide. So I sent it to everybody. Nobody not playing it. It was Muta Baruka who pick up this song and tell your powers. Now for me, got Muta Baruka and tell your powers and Gary G them. Again. Alone, I play them song there now. <laughs> yeah. And then Ika Mouse thing got turned now. Me introduce Ika Mouse to a virgin named Big Stone. And Big Stone give Ika Mouse an interview. And that is how Ika Mouse start get back. Uh, and track no bad star tour about no world and know him they are foreign right now. But Eka Mouse a legend running the river. But, but I know that Eka Mouse people, he may be acting a vibe like him is a gay or whatever, but I know Eka Mouse is an actor. And just because of Eka Mouse situation with him deport sit, 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 situation, he, he may be put on all of that to make people know that like him is that, but him is not that. I know him as, as a real youth. He comes a legend in a music. Real legend. It's as simple as that. We don't need yes, to go around that. You understand what I say? Yes, sir. Looking at the journey, bro, at this stage, Zane, I know, I know, my sense that there is some bitterness <laughs> in, in, in a sob of a certain thing, but looking at the journey, bro, when you assess your journey, when you reflect, Zane, what is that thing that makes you proud? You say, all right, you are going. Even though you see you don't get the slice of the cake, when you forget, yeah. when, when, when you reflect on that something, I say, yo, God, give thanks, because we still can't All say right. this. You know what make me proud more than anything else? You know what make me proud of myself for all the journey that I've been from a band till now is the most high God Almighty. I, he make me proud. Rastafari, his imperial majesty, Emperor Ali Selassie I the first. Yes, make me proud. Yes, that made me proud more than anything else. The, the, you know, the Christ in his kingly character. Yes, I. Musically speaking, bro, what is that thing or those things that Sabatot not attain and achieve it when I'm still hope for, for cross off them things they are fine in him to do this? Is to see, is to see the media house in Jamaica start establish 
and give the cultural Rastafarian artists, them like Sabatut and other artists, them the rightful opportunity because Uno has the media out there, Uno have the people them senses in, in Uno and seen, meaning that it's people five senses govern their body. So once you play certain positive music, the people, the public will have a positive reaction. If you play negative music, the you them going to kill and murder our people like Wagwana, Jamaica. So that is my thing now to see. Yeah, the media house start establish the real music that will make people worldwide say good music still in making in Jamaica. Yes, I. Musically, I do the regrets. When I look on the thing and say, yo, you know me, then do this differently. I'm going to do this. If you get a chance to do the musical aspect of the thing, would you change anything? Yes. And what I, what I would change is, what I would change if I get the opportunity to change anything is, I would sign all of these artists and people them that me help in the, in, the, in the business because why I would do that now that me get a chance to change that no knowing that what they have done to me knowing that I reach out and help them financially and give my help to them and see that they are them reach a point in their career where they're much bigger than me in the music industry and they're not reaching back out to me, I would have signed Ding Dang, I would have signed Deli Ranks, I would have signed Frisco Kid, I would have signed Cecile, I would have signed DJ Wayne and ZJ Liquid them. Yes, I. You have done collaborations with Ghost, e Commerce, who else? Barry Salmon and, and, and Richie Sanchez. Steve. Sanchez. Yeah. Zane. Anthony B. Anthony B. General B. General B, yeah. yeah. And General B have a song pan, pan, pan one of them. But Massive B. Me Ma make him vice that song because right. Massive B never want to vice him. Okay. And me, me really build this song and say, I'm going to do this. I saw him make him make, make a money. Is there anybody do, who you don't mind do a song with, you know, collab with? <laughs> yeah. Who wouldn't mind do a song with right yeah. now? Yeah. Damian Jr. Gang Marley, you know. The gang. Yes, the gang. I'm a, I'm a good friend, too. I'm a good friend, a good hygiene, a real friend. Salute yeah. the gang, you know. Yes. What do you mind love other than music enough? Why do you know if feed him family if I never music or sustain it over the years? Is there anything where you love enough outside of music where you don't know if feed your family if it was a music I do? Um, I wouldn't think of that right now. I just music, yes, me music. see. Yeah, because the, the Lord bless me that we're the, with the talent. Yes. And the music, me see, feed my mother before she passed away, and my father. Me, me take care of them. Yeah. Mm. So, me know that, you know, that is what the Lord ordained me for yes. to do and night me to do, you know. Where are some of the places that you have gone to perform outside of Jamaica? My first time leaving Jamaica on a plane is to Canada, Ottawa. And I went to Cayman Island and Bermuda. I went to America regular, but it wasn't like... To, to, to yeah, work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where are you not going to work? Where are you going to work one of them parties one of them time? America, America and England and mm -hmm. in Europe, in Africa, yeah. Or yourself, man. What do people are watching? Yes. You know, you know, yes, you know. and I visited America. I have a lot of American visa you now, but I want to be booked. For, for sure, in Madison Square Garden. Maybe I'm on a tour with Junior Gang or Bojo or even Berries because a lot of time I, I'm a, I'm I'm on the house recording artists and I am also Gargamel recording artists. I am also Bounty Killer recording artists, but I never get a chance to go on the road with them to perform. But I know one day to come, what do I am then can still up now. Give thanks for life. Yes, I. Sabato. Still in you know, the studio, still a put in the work. Still loving the music. Still, still a fight the fight. Yes, I'm a recently released is a song named Time Shall Tell. Repent, Time Shall okay. Tell. That's my latest work. Nadia Rose video that that, that video. Repent Time Shall Tell. It's on YouTube. That's my latest work. It and an, an, a dance named Fresh and Clean Dance. Mm. That's my latest work. My, Saba, yeah. it is good. To see the man first and foremost. Um, I know that you know physically you're still not where you were, and we know you're coming along. Finish. And we give we give thanks to that. So you are you know progressing, and we give thanks to that. It is yes. good to see that you are looking at the thing from a positive perspective despite the challenges. Yes, and teach them. I appreciate the man's contribution to the music. I mean, a lot of things. I'm not really going to and.
that, yeah, that, yeah. that fluff. I which is, which is your right. journey was interesting. You understand? Which but you right. would have played a role in the emergence of quite a few giants in the space. You understand? Yes, sir. And I appreciate the man's contribution to the music and for the music. How many youths? Yeah. Three youths, Three you know. Youths. And one of them, the girl give it to, to someone else. But I have a big up. Um, I arena, I arena. Big up yourself, you know, my baby mother, Kelly, you know. Yes, I. Give thanks, Yeah, man. yeah. I love that, you know. Brother, yeah. brother, go and do the thing, and I sincerely hope that the dreams and the goals we are still having on the music are going to materialize yes, in a sir. timely manner. And, yes, sir. And what out the fear, you get it, brother, brother. I'm right. going to fight the fight, and I hope the recovery continues, and you go back to as close to the Sabbath that you were before the stroke, brother, brother. Rastafari live. Good yes, sir. Yes, man. Yes, sir. One thing, brother, brother. Chow, man. Blessings. So the yes, fans sir. are out there. To all the fans out there, you know, just always know that the best is still yet to come. And to all the fans out there, just venticate and lobby for Sabato for hear more Sabato because Sabato PM dues and it give a helping hand to a lot of people out there who is now big star in dance hall and out in the world. So I want one as the fans venticate for me and say, yo, want on to the book Sabbath for that show, they know. When I hear some Sabbath on the radio, reach out to them people and help defend me as me help defend many artists out there too. Blessed. A prosperity, lad. I've said DC from Eyeglass Disco to Changes, Uptown and from Nannyville, all about. Big up yourself, DC and the World Changes family. Raga Rugina, England, and we say a prosperity. Never give up. Keep fighting more than I and Mike Tyson. You see it? Yes, I. Teach them. Hey, yo, hello. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!